hey everyone welcome back to the video i hope you all are doing great and today's video we are going to integrate the date function in our virtual assistant jarvis so if you remember in the previous video we integrated the time function and before that we integrated the uh, spotify function or the song function right so in today's video we will be integrating the date function where we will be asking our virtual assistant or our advanced virtual assistant jarvis the date or like you know for example what is today's date or oh you know what is what was yesterday's date something like that so mainly like you know asking about the calendar date and what is today's date these are the things what we're going to ask from our virtual assistant so we'll be integrating the date function in our virtual assistant so without wasting more time let's get straight into the video so guys right here i am in my pycharm right here and if you remember this is our time function and this is our uh, song function and our spotify function which we had integrated and all the other functions and you know our variables and uh, for, you know define functions import packages all those things so if you have not watched the previous video i will leave all the link in the description and also the source code of today's video will be there in the description make sure to check out the links in the description before that make sure to check out the video on how to access the source code i will leave the link of that video also in the description so check out the video on how it has to be accessed and then you can access the source code and you will be getting the whole source code the whole code make your job easier and uh, you know instead of typing more and more and more uh, but if you want to understand and do the coding you can watch the video and go ahead with that so right here we are having the time function so now just below that we will create uh, the date function so first thing what we will do is let's uh, you know do a f thing uh, and let's put hashtag and let's put it as tell uh, the date right tell the date so we are asking the virtual assistant the date so, uh, so what we are going to do right now is we are going to put an elif statement so we'll put elif uh, the date so here we are creating a neuron sorry a natural processing language uh, the date right uh, in self dot query or we're going to put it as today just a second today today's date sorry today's date close it with the syntax uh, let me do one thing uh, let me put this in double inverted uh, just a second yeah um my keyboard is actually weird okay this should be fine oh uh, yeah so today's date um uh, in self dot query uh and we can ask maybe like you know what is we can add another function called as um what is what is the date yeah what is the date or the date and self self dot query fine so these are the you know natural processing language we integrated now next we're going to create a function called as str string date now if you remember we did the same thing for time also is equal to date time from the package date time dot date time dot now from now tuple and we're gonna put dot str and str f dot and we're gonna put as date fine and we're gonna assign okay not the time i think it's gonna be it's not gonna be the date it's gonna be the time and we're gonna assign it in okay make sure to you know type this in the right way okay so what we are going to do right here is percentage uh, m which is basically month and then a slash percentage d that is basically date and percentage forgot a slash right here uh, y if 
fine so make sure you type the same thing what i have typed right here or this is going to give a error fine so this is done right here the next thing what we are going to do is we're going to add a print statement where we are going to put f uh, we're going to put the inverted and today today is okay i forgot to mention right here before the f we are going to put slash and slash uh we're gonna print this right f slash uh and slash today is uh flower brackets string date fine and we are going to reset it fine okay now this is the print statement what we added right here the next thing what we are going to do is we are going to put a speak function so speak function is going to be f double inverted column and today today is a uh, comma string uh, flower brackets string date fine and we're gonna close this with a tuple and then lastly what we're gonna add is time dot sleep one okay so we're gonna make it sleep for one second so if you if you want to understand this code now basically we added many uh natural processing languages right here the date today's date or uh, what is the date and then what we created a uh, string data where we put date time package dot date time dot now means today dot string f time which is basically percentage m which is month string d that is basically date and string y is basically year and then we print uh, we print the date uh, what is the date whatever we are having today and then we made it speak the date at the same time and then we made it sleep for one second so this is how we integrated the date function in our virtual assistant jarvis so i will leave the link in the description the source code link in the description make sure to check out the source code so make sure to check out the description sorry uh, all the links all the video links everything will be there in the description make sure to check out and uh, till then guys uh, stay tuned for the next video if you like the video make sure to like and if you have not subscribed do consider subscribing so till then, uh, uh, the next videos are going to be on, you know, uh, PowerPoint, Excel, maybe on Instagram, that's going to come very soon, YouTube, and many other functions which is going to come very soon. So stay tuned for that. So till then, guys, happy coding. Take care. Have a great day. So till then, guys, peace out. Bye.